In the meantime, in some good news coming in for citizens, gone are the days when you cringed after paying service charge even if you were not entirely happy with the hotel service. Now, the new advisory from the government has clarified that the payment of service charge is optional, which means you don't need to pay the charges if you don't wish to. Hoteliers predictably are opposing this move. But what do citizens think? Richa Sharma gets us this report from Mumbai. Payment of service charges at eating places and restaurants like these will be entirely a customer's call from now on. A notification was released by the Ministry of Consumer Affairs a few days back which stated that, that if a consumer or a customer is not satisfied with the services given to them at a restaurant, they can certainly deny paying the service charges levied along with the bill. This has been received with a lot of criticism from the industry bodies and restaurant owners who state that they levy these uh, service charges because the, for the services that they provide to the customers and it, is, it directly goes to the staff working there. They charge anywhere between 5% to 20% right now depending upon the restaurant and the services that they give. And uh, bodies and uh, industry bodies like Ahar have also stated that if a customer is not satisfied and if they don't want to pay those service charges, they are welcome to not come to those restaurants. Now we will have to wait and see if customers will be happy with this decision and if the restaurant owners will be willing and accepting of this notification or not. This is Richa Sharma for Magic Bricks Now. You need to make sure to the client that you know service charges are applicable or at the entrance you put service charge is applicable in this restaurant. So the customer has got the right to enter or not to enter as per his choice. We do mention it on our menu card that uh, we levy a service charge of 10%. Um, also uh, it is open to the customer whether they want to opt for it or they don't want to opt for it. Usually most of the customers in our experience do not they are well well uh, traveled they know the uh, the practice so they do not uh, make any they understand that they have to pay the service charge if a customer is not if he is not enjoyed his service if he is not enjoyed his service experience he has every right to refuse and and we don't deny it but at the same time it is also something that it's not illegal and we are not asking them for something which is you know which is off the block it is very clearly mentioned on the menu card so customers have a choice really you know most of the restaurants, they give a lot of good service. So I don't mind paying service tax. But uh, in some cases, uh, I think it's uh, really, they should not charge service because the service is not good, the food is not good. You should be paying the restaurants the service charge because that's the poor people. The guys really work. They make sure your dinner is fine. They make sure you're comfortable at a restaurant. And I think it's a small thing. I don't think there's an issue with it. Sometimes, some places, I don't know what the percentage could be it could be sometimes 15 percent 20 percent it should not depend on the restaurant it should depend on the customer if you feel satisfied then yes it should be for the customer's choice i feel it's a good decision that it has been the responsibility has been given to the customer and you know in today's day the customer is the king so customer has to choose whether he is satisfied with the service or no and depending on that the customer will pay and a service charge what you want to pay i think it's fantastic um it certainly enables the tourist or the the customer um, to have the, the, the right of say uh, in the restaurant. Um, and it also increases the, uh, the service, or uh, yeah, increases the service that, um, that the restaurant provides. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magicbricksnow.